Hello, I'm Tom Ruggia, President and CEO of Samsara Vision, a company dedicated to bringing vision and freedom back to those suffering from late stage AMD through commercialization of our Sing IMT. At Samsara Vision, we are bringing a highly experienced team of ophthalmology experts to tackle the problems of late stage age-related macular degeneration. I come to Samsara Vision from Johnson & Johnson, but also with 14 years of experience with Alcon. So 20 years in ophthalmology, bringing that to the team here at Samsara and hiring talented people and bolstering our board of directors to ensure we have the right people to bring our Sing IMT to market. We focus on late stage AMD, and this is a group suffering uh, from what is referred to as non-preventable blindness. At Samsara Vision, we are uh, engaged to tackle the idea of non-preventable blindness and bring freedom back to those patients who suffer the most. About 10 million people worldwide today suffer with late-stage AMD, either dry AMD, geographic atrophy secondary to dry AMD, or wet AMD once treatment is no longer effective. Uh, Three million people are appropriate for our current label with our Sing IMT uh, that we're bringing to market in Europe uh, today. Our Sing IMT or smaller incision new generation IMT is based on the original breakthrough technology of a Galilean telescope implant that is designed to be placed into the eye during a standard cataract surgery. The original device had over 700 implants worldwide, improved quality of life for the patients treated, and was in the ophthalmology publication world. It was CE marked and FDA approved, and, and we saw these results during our US FDA trial, our pivotal trial of more than 200 patients. The original design, the optic in the original design, brought four lines of vision gain back to almost 50% of patients in that 200 patient trial, and three lines of vision gained in almost 70% of those patients. So dramatic vision improvement that, that correlated in quality of life scores. And this is now followed up for a period of five years post-operatively, and the vision is mostly retained by the patients who experienced the initial gains during the trial. And we have the patient and KOL testimonials to go along with these results. The issue we had with the first generation IMT technology was not in the optic, which we retain in the Sing IMT version of our technology, but it was in the surgical delivery and the trauma during the patient experience during uh, the procedure. So 12 millimeter incision with 12 sutures, 60 minutes in the OR, and a technically challenging procedure, even for the best cornea surgeons, led to an ECD loss of almost 25%. But we've improved on that design with the smaller incision new generation IMT or SING IMT, which we have CE mark and are commercializing in Europe today. Uh, the new design features a foldable haptic design that wraps around the original optic, so we retain the visual principles associated with the extreme vision gains from the first generation, but we minimize the trauma related to surgery and the time that it takes the patient to recover from the operation, the degree of difficulty for the surgeon. So we've now minimized this quite a bit. We've got 11 procedures done, nine of those done clinically, two of those done commercially. And here in July, we'll see more surgeries done commercially throughout Europe and CE reference countries. The new design of the foldable haptics and the easier delivery generate these statistics. We see now six and a half millimeter incision size which is a tangible improvement over the 12 millimeter incision size of the original device. Three to four sutures manageable for cataract and retina surgeons. Procedure duration is now less than half, which we were at 60 minutes on procedure. Now we're averaging uh, just under 30 minutes on the new procedure. The most operative visual results are now seen within three days by the patient, so the recognition of new vision. Then the patient will go through a post-operative training period uh, where they learn to use that new vision in the tasks that they feel so important in their life. Uh, we've also reduced the endothelial cell density impact. In the first generation, we experienced almost 25% reduction, largely based on the traumatic surgery. Now we're averaging 7.8 in the clinical patients that we've, we've just done 
Uh, we, we date back about two years by Professor David Keegan in Ireland. Uh, David's done the first nine patients for the device, which are part of our clinical package for Europe, but also a part of our clinical package for the US FDA. And we've noted that the ECD loss is 7.8% in these patients and their time to healing is, is far greater. David's uh, time on task is far less and the experience that both the surgeon and patient have improved dramatically. We're bringing this to market throughout Europe and CE reference countries. Uh, we've partnered with Medivise and Christine Morill to do that. And not only does uh, Medivise work with us on clinical and reimbursement, but also focuses on building a dedicated sales and marketing organization uh, appropriate for the coaching and counseling necessary uh, for the centers of excellence to take off. Uh, we had our first cases in, in Dublin over the last couple of years. We achieved our CE mark in April of 2020. Reimbursement efforts throughout Europe are now underway. We've done our first commercial surgeries in Germany, and we look to do more in this month of July and expand as we go on through the rest of the year. We're also expanding out across Europe. We've been focused on Germany, but we'll enter other markets during this year. And we'll, and we'll move also to CE reference markets in Asia Pacific. And we have potential to, to work on registration and reimbursement in Canada with a strategic partner there as well. Again, we're partnering with Medivise on our commercial strategy and our regulatory and reimbursement needs. Uh, Chris and her team have been wonderful partners for us as we get started and have much more to accomplish under their guidance and leadership. In the United States, we require a PMA supplement trial, which is being executed by Aura. Uh, we're in the throes of discussions with the FDA today. We anticipate a trial design that's manageable, but we can be able to show that we've made drastic improvements in the design from the earlier technology. We've developed a, a center of excellence model that also features a post-operative patient training uh, program, which we take time to train each center of excellence on the patient acquisition and patient post-op follow-up care. So during our training process, we, we take uh, painstaking measures to make sure that the staff understands and can implement the post-operative vision training necessary to make them successful. We're currently owned by one owner who has been with us for quite some time, but quite a bit of capital has been invested, starting with the original technology more than 20 years ago, to get to this point where we have a commercially viable, smaller incision, new generation IMT that can be well received by surgeons and increase the adoption, broaden the uptake. So thank you for your time today. We look forward to talking to you more as we progress in our commercial efforts through Europe and our clinical trial in the United States. But thank you. I hope you enjoy the rest of the presentations here at the OIS uh, European Innovation Showcase.